Right guys, I'm just doing a little vlog stroke review because I am absolutely pumped about this. We have got Transformers 4! It is finally here! We have been waiting for the well, I was saying we, me and Josh. Mum? I'm okay. excited. I'm excited. <laughs> she, she does like it, but well I have I, I all three of the Transformers films. I absolutely love them. I am a geek on the Transformers. So I thought because I just want to record this moment in, in my life, Transformers 4, it's the first time Josh can go to the pictures to actually see it because before when the third one was out it was a bit too young and they wouldn't really let him in so we can all go and see it and we're all have to see it in 3D! Oh god, I just can't wait, I'm so excited. And are you excited Josh? Yeah! Look at Bumblebee! <laughs> He's had this hat for about two years now. Well, hat, helmet, whatever you want to call it. It's Bumblebee, it's Bumblebee, and we're off to see what? Transformers 4! Oh, we've just, just seen a Ferrari, and it's not very often you see a Ferrari in a little village like ours. Ah, get out of the way. Look at that Ferrari. Oh, what do you reckon, guys? About 120, 30 grand, 40 grand? Whoa. We are here. Oh, I have been this excited to see a film for oh, ages. Get out of it. Josh, are you excited? Yes, we caught there. Can you see you? I can't see you. Oh. Right, I know you can't see us, but on a scale of 1 to 10, Josh, how excited are you are to see this movie? 10. 10? Yes. Oh, I'm higher than you. I'm 100. <laughs> Right guys, we've just got finished with it and it is a long film. It must have been nearly two, two and a half hours. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that, I don't want to give it because I ain't going to throw any spoilers in for you because it's, but I love it, Transformers and I loved it. It was, it had everything. It had the action, but the beginning, it just seemed to just, uh, for, I think for the first, because it's a long film and with them, Introducing the new characters with was it Mark Wahlberg and that what have you? They 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 had to put a whole new sort of storyline to get you involved with these new characters. So the beginning just seemed to just seem to. And with Transformers, you just want the action. You want to see them happening and everything. But anyway, so the the, the beginning it just seems to just go on for a bit, and then the action kicks in, and you think oh, oh and then you think it's going to end, and then. More action. More action kicks in, <laughs> as, as per usual. But that's what you're getting, I think. I ain't really checked, but about, I think it's about a two and a half hour film. So, after all that, Josh, let's let's get Josh's reaction first. What did you think, Josh? Of all the Transformers, I think the second one's got the most action in, definitely. The yeah, but we aren't, talk <laughs> we aren't talking about the second one. We're, it, we're, out of all the ones, we, we really did like the second one. And I know out there, all the second one got slated for some reason i don't know why but i love the second one and i keep on wanting it to try and live up to that the third one was as good as well and that's got a lot of action and they have all these independent it's an independent storyline and uh, i don't know how to put it across but you know the megatron comes back and is now known as galvatron and they make these new transformers and Obviously, we know it's all special effects, and the special effects, the way they've made these baddies now into a different sort of element. I like the old original, and there's, there's just not enough of that. You only get a limited amount of that with Optimus Prime and, and Bumblebee, and then there's these new ones that are just like, I don't know whether they spoil it. I don't know whether they spoil it. It's just... Well, I think it was, I think it was good. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, no, honestly, guys, I will give it a thumbs up. It is 10 out of 10. You know, a lot of work has gone into that movie, and you know, the, the, the you can and never knock the special effects. So you can't go wrong with it. <laughs> but I don't know. The yeah, I recommend just you know, support the movies, get out there, go to the big screen. Which we saw, we've seen it in 3D, I've seen better 3D. But 3D, it is, you get the feel of it. You're in there, you're in there with the action. And, but, it, I don't know. At the end of the second one, I was like, oh. The third one, I was like, oh, that is it. You know, you see them fighting, you see them doing all that. They had loads of fighting. I know. Yeah. But there was, it's good. I, I know we'll keep on saying it's good. 
but it's it just worth seemed, going to see. It just didn't it seem to see. have that. I think it's because it's like with the new characters, basically, it's like going back to Transformers One. So you've got to start again, and they have left it open for another one. Yeah. Quite obviously, it is a, it is an open for a fifth one, which is yes. And we, I will be always be a spot of Transformers because Transformers to me is just I just love it. It's one of the best films of my time now that I'm watching now. There's no others that that compare to it. I collect the toys, the mini figure toys. He's got a lot of the Transformer yeah, toys from the just... original second and third ones, which are yeah, the best. The, the new toys me, that are out are a bit. It's usually been me that's put them together. Yeah, but the four pieces. The fallen apart so that hard to find when I'm trying so, to make pieces. We won't drag it out too much, but yeah. All in all, and I don't think Opt Optimus Prime's. They said, I'm sure I heard some along that Optimus Prime's voice was changed, so I was waiting for that to spoil it because Optimus is Optimus, isn't it? It's got to be. It's got to be Transformers! Yeah. You know, it's his voice, so you've got to always have Optimus. And the Dino Bots as well. You know, this, the one in. I don't know the Dinobots. I got to get used to them. I think. Um, I like them. Yeah, they'll definitely be in the if they'll definitely. Honestly, be in guys, the right? Corner. I reckon yeah. the toys would be good. I uh, I uh, I uh, slating it at all because I, I never would slate Transformers. No, it just didn't Pratt, give me that. Optimus's Prime's voice didn't seem to have changed. No, it's just no, a bit. No, no, it's probably the same. a bit darker. So. Dark. Yeah, <laughs> Transformers Four. Uh, Transformers. Yeah, Transformers Four. <laughs> Age of Extinction. Definitely go to your cinema and see it because I'll tell you, I just love it. Just all the, just all the, I just love the 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 effects. Who comes up with the ideas? The everything. It, there and was it a lot to it. Just a boys' movie. I enjoyed it as well. I love all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they want enough. They want enough of these special, the special, the sound effects. I love the <laughs> and they. <laughs> but I don't know. There wasn't. I don't know. There wasn't a kick to it to me. But I still enjoyed it. I still love Transformers. <sighs> Worth yeah. a watch, Josh. Yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Cause it, in this, in this one, it sound it's like it kind. You have to start from the beginning because. It's like all the main character, the humour was different and everything. So it was like he really had to start from the beginning. So it was like all of it in one e like episode really. It was really weird. Yeah, it, anyway, we've, we've <laughs> got... Oh, and I want to just say as well, and I don't know if... Anybody who eventually does see it, I, I don't know if you anybody... This is going right off on a tangent here, but there's... There's a big YouTuber out there called Kasim G. He's friends with a guy called Shea Cal, and you, he has his own channel, Kasim G it is. And I'm sure he was in it. And I haven't heard nothing along the lines that he was saying he was going to be in it. And he, he played a real tiny cameo role as a scientist in it. And I'm, I'm I've gonna, seen his face before. I'm going to look, it, look it up when I get back, but I'm sure the guy Kasim G, he has his own YouTube channel, he was in it. And... If that just if that goes to show that you know YouTubers can get into the big movies, there's room for me yet. <laughs> oh, am I getting on a bit? But yeah, no, you never know. You never know. So yeah, there's a bit a little little promotion there for YouTube. In that in that respect, but anyway, yeah, that's enough waffling on. I won't go on too much. And uh, I think after all that. Would you go and see number five at Pictures? Yeah. Of yeah. course we would. Roll on, come on, number five. Transformers 4. Brilliant. That's all I've got to say. It was, mm. it, I can't deny, it was brilliant. But then I say, I'm a transform, I'm biased on Transformers. Even if it was absolutely pants, I'd probably say it was pretty good. You cannot deny the special effects and the work that goes in to producing a movie like that. So, yeah. 10 out of 10. 100 out of 10, thank you very much. Transformers 4, over and out.